Kate and William finally meet baby Archie, royal couple paid first visit to their week-old nephew this afternoon. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have finally met their new nephew Archie more than a week after the baby was born. Kate and William met Harry and Meghan's week-old son for the first time today, Mail Online understands. Sources said the meeting would be a private affair. The baby, who is seventh in line to the throne, has already met his great-grandparents the Queen and Prince Philip, and his grandmother Doria Ragland. Princess Diana's older sister Lady Jane Fellows was also among the first to meet baby Archie, according to reports. The private meeting today is in line with the way the royal birth was handled, with Harry and Meghan not posing for pictures until two days after the boy was born. The royal couple have also not confirmed where Meghan gave birth. Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall are also yet to meet one-week-old Archie. At an event earlier Kate was presented with owl, squirrel, rabbit and fox stuffed toys to give to her nephew Archie. The Duke of Sussex has said he cannot imagine life without Archie as he revealed his newborn is keeping him up at night. Appearing on Good Morning America Today, royal commentator Omid Scobie said, Archie's first week at home with mum and dad was quiet, they wanted that personal space with their newborn. This week it's all about the visitors, with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge visiting tomorrow and the Prince of Wales visiting later this week. According to the Telegraph, Lady Jane, 62, was one of the first to drop in to meet baby Sussex last week. Prince Harry has made clear that Diana has been on his minute since the birth of his son, and poignantly included her family in Archie's official birth announcement. Prince Harry has remained particularly close to Princess Diana's family since her death, and invited Lady Jane to give a reading at the royal wedding last May. And he made sure that Diana's sisters had met Meghan ahead of their engagement, with the Duchess of Sussex confirming how special they are to Harry in their engagement interview in November 2017. At the time, she mentioned how important she found meeting Harry's aunt, as well as Princess Diana's close friend Julia Fellows. Meghan said, I think in being able to meet his aunts, I'm able to, in some way, know a part of her through them and of course through him. And it's, it's incredibly special. And Prince Harry and Meghan have kept Princess Diana's family closely involved with the birth of their child. Archie's birth statement noted how, alongside the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Charles, the Duchess of Cornwall, and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Diana's siblings Lady Jane Fellows, Lady Sarah McCorkadale and Earl Spencer were delighted by the news. This differs from the birth of Prince Louis in April 2018, when Prince William and Kate informed the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh, the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall, Prince Harry, along with members of both families. And yesterday, the couple shared an adorable single image showing the newborn's two tiny wriggling feet being gently held by the Duchess of Sussex's hand, with forget-me-nots. Harry's mother Princess Diana's favorite flower, clearly visible in the background. Forget-me-nots featured in Meghan's bouquet on the couple's wedding day, as a tribute to Harry's late mother, who loved the small purple flowers. The Duke of Sussex hand-picked several flowers from their private garden at Kensington Palace a day ahead of the wedding. In a post for Mother's Day, celebrated internationally yesterday, Meghan and Harry paid tribute to Mother's past present and mothers to be, and those lost but forever remembered. In interviews last year to mark the 20th anniversary of his mother's death, Prince Harry admitted how bottling up his emotions made a devastating impact on his mental health. He had, he confessed, been very close to a complete mental breakdown on numerous occasions. The turmoil over his emotions saw him endure two years of what he described as total chaos before seeking professional counseling on the advice of Prince William. He disclosed that he had only begun to address this grief when, at the age of 28, he had felt himself to be on the verge of punching someone while also facing anxiety when carrying out official engagements.